Matthew chapter number four, verse number 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases among the people. The word of God for the people of God. You may be seated. For a few short moments on this afternoon, I want to encourage you from the subject, uncomfortable yet willing. Yeah. Uncomfortable yet willing. On last Sunday, when I was done preaching, minister training ready, I was exhausted. I was drenched in sweat, and I was in need of what I call the Baptist nap. Y'all know what the Baptist nap is. I was in need of the Baptist nap, Reverend Slater due to the effort that I exerted preparing and delivering what God had imparted to me. Yeah. Due to this tiredness, my body felt like I needed to simply rest. Yeah. So I concluded that I would rest for the rest of Sunday and I would reserve all of Monday as a day of rest renewal and rejuvenation. However, Deacon Simpson, many of us know that I am not only the pastor of this church, but I am the father of Lawrence III, Lauren Mosley, and Layla Mosley. And we all know that Layla is my baby, who happens, Deacon Woods, to think that she is now grown. All right. And on Monday morning, yeah, Layla texts me and she asks me, how is her car coming along? For those who don't know, I am working diligently on getting a car prepared for her so she can have it at school. And with her knowing that I'm preparing this car for her, there's an extra eagerness. And when she contacts me, she wants regular updates <laughs> on the car. Yeah. All right. She wants to make sure that her father is not only focused on the church, but she wants to make sure that her daddy is focused on the car. And my work, Deacon Woods, must meet her expectations. All right. So on my day of rest, Renewal and rejuvenation. She texts me. She said, Dad, how is it going? But the real question that she was asking me was, What were you going to do today on my car? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> she had great expectations, but I was tired. So as a father, you want to make sure, this is to my fathers here, you want to make sure that you are a hero to your children. All right. Especially to your baby girls. Okay. You got to show them what a hero looks like. So in the midst of me being tired, I got up to work on the car because I didn't want to let my baby girl so I decided I was going to work on the battery that day. And this is just not any regular car. It's a hybrid. All right. So you got to take it apart and put it back together again. Yeah. But as you know, on Monday it was about 88 degrees. Oh, yeah. So I had to go to and from to get the battery. Outside, taking the car apart to get the battery out, 
And my lazy boy was calling me in the den. He was sitting there, Reverend Slater, as the Bible says, in the cool. The Bible said the cool of the day, but it's the cool of my AC. <laughs> and so I worked, and I worked, and I worked. And I thought about this text as I worked. I said, these are some hard circumstances. But I got to make sure that the work gets done in spite of my circumstances. All right. My brothers and my sisters, I simply want to encourage you on today to keep on moving when you get uncomfortable. Don't allow tiredness to be your excuse for nothing to be done. I want to encourage you to press on a little while longer, even in the midst of trying times. Don't get weary when you're striving to do well. And I want you to understand that the antagonist is going to come. And the circumstances may not always be what you want them to be. But I encourage you to simply hold on a little while longer. Because a change is going to come, and it's going to come suddenly. We understand as we engage ministry, sometimes we think that the grass is greener on the other side. But let me tell you something about this grass. The grass on the other side, it could be artificial. But if it's real grass, how many of us know that the grass still needs maintenance? But also, if you look at grass from afar, it might be weeds. And weeds look plush and green, and they will tear up your yard. We have a misconception that ministry may be excelling more when we view other people where they are. All right. But we are only looking from afar. Mm -hmm. And many times, people only allow you to see what they want you to see. Yeah. All right. But however, I want you to understand that in reality, Ministry is not play. Ministry is work. Right. And understand, no matter how you work, the people are still going to be the people. Amen. 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 Pastor Mosley, I'm doing the best I can. If we look through the pages of Scripture from creation to now, the folks ain't changed much. Amen. And we find this we said that leopards don't change their spots. So when we understand the gospel story, we understand that Jesus is going from place to place. And for those who have not been here, he is in Galilee of the Gentiles. It is known as a place of darkness, a darkness spiritually, the land of the shadow of death. And Jesus' arrival has brought a great light. So he's moving from place to place in Galilee of the Gentiles. He's teaching, he's preaching, and healing. But in the midst of Jesus, Preaching, teaching, and healing, we cannot assume that the circumstances were always ideal for ministry. We know through the pages of Scripture that Jesus was not always liked. And he was not always accepted. And we understand that every day for Jesus was not a sunny day of ministry. But when we look at the 
gospel in its totality. Jesus, even being God, was not always honored. We know that there were those who wanted to silence Jesus, Jesus' ministry by any means necessary. There were those who walked with Jesus and then turned away from Jesus. He was denied and he was betrayed by those who professed to love him. There were those who believed in him. And then there were those who simply rejected him. We understand. And he traveled from place to place that there were obstacles and the road was not always easy. Sometimes his friends did not agree with his decisions. All right. And we know that at times he did not have the support of his family. But even though the circumstances were uncomfortable, Jesus was willing to endure what was uncomfortable to bring light yeah. to the darkness in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. We then understood we must be willing yeah. to endure uncomfortable situations of ministry with a focus and a willing heart. With all that said, how do we respond when we find ourselves in an uncomfortable place and we know that there is work that must be done? Yeah. Number one, there must be a desire to be godly in the midst of the ungodly. Yes. The godly are not to join the ungodly. Amen. 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 Number two, there must be a desire to continue to do the work even when there is direct or indirect resistance to our progress. And last but not least, remember, if we stay faithful, in due season, we will experience a seasonal shift that will take us from struggle to rejoicing in the blessedness of God. And these Latin is going to come suddenly. So young people, understand that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in your suddenly season. There may be turmoil, but God will usher in peace. I want you to declare, this is my suddenly season. There will be disconnection, but God can and God will bring agreement. I need you to take somebody. Tell them, this is my suddenly season. You may be broken, but God will heal your wounds. Be euphoric on today. Because this is your suddenly season. The songwriter says, cast your cares at the master's feet. In Jesus we find joy, so wonderful and complete. The trial of life may try to take us down. He protects me and he places my feet on steadfast ground. If you're enduring difficulties that have you down, cast your cares at the master's feet. If your heart is wounded and you can't see your way through, cast your cares at the master's feet. You may be tired, you may be weary, your tank may be empty, but cast your cares at the Savior's feet. Don't be discouraged by the folly of others. Cast your cares at the Savior's feet. Folk may be aggressive and they may be envious 
and they may try to come to your door with trouble. Cast your cares at the master seat. You may have been lied on, and you may have been lied to. Yeah. Cast your cares at the master seat. All right. I need you, Hope Missionary Baptist Church, to continue to teach the gospel. Continue to live the gospel. Be bold when wrong is being done. Don't stop the outreach. Let unity be your priority, not an option. Continue supporting the church and supporting the leaders. Don't stop being agents of healing. Cast your cares at the master's feet. See, there may be stumbling blocks, but I can rejoice because it's my turn. I may have experienced sorrow. Now I'm glad. It's my turn. I may have had tears in my eyes, but now I got joy, unspeakable joy. Tell your neighbor, it's my turn. The evil one may have tried to take you down, but I'm still standing. It's my turn. There are times when I could not find my way. God's got me now on the right path. It's my turn. It's my turn for a greater sense of peace. It's my turn for more joy. It's my turn for more love. It's my turn to be here. It's my turn for a greater sense of happiness. It's my turn for ministry to overflow. It's my turn for unification. Yeah. Yeah. 
and give God some praise up in here, up in here. So how do we respond? When we find ourselves in an uncomfortable place and we know that we know that we know that there is work, not play, that must be done. There must be a desire to be godly in the midst of the ungodly. And we understand that the godly doesn't join forces with the ungodly. We must be have a desire to continue to do the work yeah. when there is direct or indirect resistance to our progress. Yeah. And last but not least, uh -huh. remember, if we stay faithful yeah. in due season, we will experience a seasonal shift that will take us from the struggle that we are going through to rejoicing in Jesus' name. And it's going to come yes, sir. suddenly. Yes. The door to the church will open.